I feel bad because I'm laughing. But we're gonna watch this. Pastor Coots even had a parishioner die in 1995 after refusing anti-venom following a bite from a timber rattlesnake during service. No charges were ever filed in Kentucky. If someone gets bit in my church and they're not immediate family, I will call 911, have the paramedics come out, and let that person tell them I don't want medical attention. <laughs> Did you just hear what this fucking idiot just said? What's the point of calling 911, you idiot? You might as well just tuck them in at night and let them lose an appendage or die. Oh my God. He said, if somebody in my church gets bit by a venomous snake, what I will do is call 911, which is the proper procedure. And when 911 ambulance shows up, I will let that person <laughs> reject the help. Well, what the fuck is the point of calling 911 in the first place? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, dude? I used to go to, th my mom took me to a church one time. Getting bit by venomous snakes and rejecting help is the same thing as Speaking in angelic tongues, dude. It's just, it's like more safe. <laughs> Speaking like this. Is more, makes more sense to me than fucking getting bit by a venomous snake, calling 911, and then saying, never mind. Hey. Ah, I can't talk shit. One time I OD'd. I OD'd. But then I did a little coke to help the OD go away. And when the ambulance showed up, I went, you know what, uh, <laughs> EMT off of the earth, I think I'm okay now. And they were like, if you don't fucking go to the hospital, we're taking you to the police. I was like, never mind, let me jump in. <laughs> Dude, you guys got to understand religion's role. It's cultural. It's cultural. It is not so that you can get bit by poisonous snakes and talk to your ceiling like a chicken.